Hello YouTube. Thanks for coming back. This is Rusty for the Project Forerunner channel. Um, there's a lot of different choices out there of roof racks, but after months of research, I ended up on the Green Lane off-road. Um, and I'll try to get through this pretty quick, but there's several reasons why I went with them. First of all, I'll go with the hardware. All of the hardware you see is um, stainless. It's black stainless. And then these washers are actually uh, black nylon washers. Uh, the sides of the rack are um, very nice CNC cut quarter inch aluminum. And it's kind of hard to see, but there's real nice beveled edges everywhere. So, and powder coated the aluminum. And uh, everything's powder coated. These cross members, they're like the two slotted 8020 extruded aluminum or whatever they're called. They're actually hard anodized and then they are powder coated along with all the rest of the parts and the rack actually standard it only comes with five of the cross members which leaves four of the spots empty but I ended up just buying the extra four so it's fully loaded with cross members figure why not um, the front is uh, eighth inch aluminum up here. And uh, like I said, the sides are quarter. And one of the things that makes this a really good rack too is you don't have to drill anything. These front spots actually, they have like a clamp type setup made out of aluminum that goes right inside your gutter there. And then for the factory points, um, I don't know if I can get up there. They have this little system that they call gutter blocks and it's like a little solid block of aluminum. And so for the four factory points, you use those and what makes those gutter blocks special is they actually screw to the factory points and then this rack screws to them. So if you ever want to remove the rack and uh, wash your car or do anything, having those gutter blocks means that you don't have to leave the holes empty. You can actually pull the rack off and uh, it's not focusing good, sorry guys. So with those gutter blocks, you can actually pull this whole rack off and it doesn't leave any holes in your roof or anything. So that's kind of nice when you think about it. And it doesn't come with the uh, ladder standard, but I went with the ladder, obviously. The sides of the ladder are that same quarter inch aluminum and the rungs are they're like one by one or inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter aluminum. But you can see the welds are all very nice. And uh, actually, if you look at where the rung's at, you really only see one rung through the back window. And the fact that they are a quarter inch thick, you don't see much on the sides. So visibility wise, it's really nice. And uh, I knew I wanted the ladder for sure. So I just went ahead with the whole thing. And uh, obviously, do a quick little demo. Still opens up, because once again, the aluminum's nice and light.
So there we go. But there are a few advantages, like the quality of the hardware that they use. There's a good view of that gutter block. See that lower section is just a solid chunk that mounts. And you know, you put some Loctite and some uh, silicone underneath it and that block remains. So then you would unscrew directly from that if you were to want to pull this rack off, leaving all the holes nice and sealed. But um, it's pretty sweet though. You can see that emblem up front there. But uh, I'm really happy with it so far. And uh, I do really like the look of the Baja rack. Actually, I like the style of the Baja and the Gobi even more so. But the only thing is those are made of like tube steel and I keep hearing hor horror stories about rust. And um, I live on an island here in Florida. So I need anything I put on my Forerunner has got to be able to hold up to the elements but I have taken it it fits nice and tight up here and uh, have this weather strip up here and I had it going 90 on the highway the other day literally not much noise at all above and beyond the usual so that's it and uh, so I mentioned the reasons I didn't go with the Baja or the Gobi because they're made of steel. And uh, the Prinsu rack is really the same kind of rack as this. And there's a couple other options along their lines, really, that are made out of the aluminum. And But the Prinsu doesn't even have as quality of hardware as this company, Green Lane. And um, they're out of Canada. It's actually the same brand. I have these uh, sidestep slash sliders, same brand and uh, they just so happen to come out with a superior rack so i'm really excited about that but hope you guys like and i think it's a really strong option to get um for several reasons but um they claim on their website it's uh right up there with the strongest on the market and uh because you know you can't you can only put so much up top I don't think, I think the factory recommends you don't exceed like 300 pounds. So, uh, let me get you one more good angle. And, uh, that's her. Do a quick flyby. And I will probably include some photos at the very end also. If you guys want to hang out but very solid option great piece of hardware to add to your forerunner very tactical looking thanks for joining me have a good day wanted to get a quick video of it in an action just got a bunch of these shelves that I pre-finished and then I loaded up there. I'm only like five minutes from home, so I just got one strap, but it's got great strapping points. It's damn near eight feet long also, which is great. Really, if you have an SUV, a good top rack is the best way to transport stuff. But, uh, It's actually the second time I've used it. I loaded a four by 10 sheet of plywood up there a couple weeks ago too. Really happy I purchased this piece of hardware.